Because uh, in the same 24 hours following the massacre, I had a direct phone call with inhabitants of Kfarlaha, which is in the suburbs of the region of Kula. They said they have seen militia carrying out from the National Hospital uh, corps to assemble them in the mosque, where in the second day the UN observers come to see them. It's not possible that the legal forces of Bashar al-Assad would assemble those courts to give them to the opposition, to show them to the United Nations, so that the United Nations will condemn the regime. You also say the uh, alleged massacre of Christians in Homs was carried out by the FSA. I have been with FSA fighters in Homs who say no. The reality is that uh, the, op the armed opposition, they uh, ch have chosen 95% Christian residences to come and fight there. And from there, they want to make a war. Why isn't the UN monitors reporting this then? I, I know that since the beginning of this conflict, there is a disequilibrium between, uh, uh, among the, the media information. For example, you have 80,000 of Christian inhabitants only of uh, Bab uh, Bustani Diwan and Hamidiyye Square. They fled and uh, their houses uh, were uh, completely ravaged by uh, mi uh, militia, militias. Nobody spoke about it. 80,000, it's something. The Christians are, uh, are, ca are uh, uh, inside a sandwich. One part and the other part, they are, uh, there, are, there is a conflict and nobody is caring about them. Do you know that there will be some people watching this who think you're lying? I have seen dying, slaughtered, completely refugiated, sinistrated, everywhere in Syria, especially in my diocese. That's all, that is my aim. You have people, they are suffering every day. Uh, they are not covered because what they suffer doesn't enter in some interest. So I hope that the media will be fair it's enough of this war, media war, where you just talk about one side and you figure that the conflict in Syria is between black and white.